allow me, first of all, to thank the organizers of this event, the IRA Center and the Civil Rights Defenders, as well as the government of the United uh, Kingdom, the government of Sweden, and Konrad Adenauer Foundation for organizing the ninth regional forum of the rule of law for Southeast Europe in Albania. I'd also like to express my pleasure about being able to greet you at the beginning of this forum. Respect for human rights and guaranteeing human rights as well as their elaboration in line with the recent social, cultural, economic developments makes such fora and roundtables one of the forms of our regional cooperation and dialogue. This dialogue is about ensuring the highest protection of human rights possible in a multi-level system which enables fundamental rights to be guaranteed by various national and international bodies. Dialogue is often necessary not only to increase the level of protection for, of rights, but also to make the entire protection system coherent and uniform and this requires maturity and care by every uh, entity involved in it. The purpose of this forum uh, about promoting the implementation of the European Convention for Human Rights is often emphasized as well as uh, its purpose to encourage regional cooperation for the rule of law and human rights. The forum this year focuses on protecting human rights in situations of emergencies by paying special attention to the situation of the pandemic, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, to discuss the main developments and jurisprudence during this period at all levels, national and European levels. The situation of the pandemic caused by the spread of COVID-19 was a significant challenge for our countries. From many perspectives during this period, we faced uh, issues with protection of human rights and freedoms by refocusing on how our values are redimensioned, guaranteeing individual rights and freedoms throughout the period was accompanied by specific uh, characteristics and we try to identify them. First of all, to ensure uniform protection of human rights uh, according to the, the standards we have agreed on. Therefore, analyzing some of the key factors is very important in balancing uh, public interests and fundamental human rights. The situation caused by COVID-19 pandemic uh, made many Council of Europe member states uh, implement Article 15 of the European Convention on Human Rights, that is the article about derogation in cases of emergencies. Thus, in Albania, during this period, a series of primary and secondary legislation, acts of legislation were approved. After the announcement of the, the emergency, following the infection caused by COVID-19. On the 24th of March, 2020, the Albanian Council of Ministers uh, declared the state of emergency in all the Republic of Albania. This led to the limitation of certain rights and freedoms, uh, which were until then considered indispensable for uh, protecting the health of our citizens. On 31st of March 2020, the government explained why uh, the government needed to derogate from some obligations of the Albanian state, that is Article 8 and 11 of the Convention art and Article 1 and 2 of the pr Protocol of this Convention, as well as Article 2 of Protocol Number 4. Well, it is worth mentioning that the legal framework in Albania uh, includes a law on prevention and fight against infection and infectious diseases. And this is about protecting the population from infectious infections and diseases. This law sets the rules and the activities to be exercised in time to be identified, prevented and controlled. It also describes the responsibilities and role of all the health services 
and uh, what, what they are supposed to do in cases of events that are important for the public health. In the context of this pandemic, in April 2020, the lawmakers made an intervention in the criminal code. They introduced some provisions which this, uh, introduced new criminal offenses. These provisions were challenged in the Constitutional Court by the Albanian Helsinki Committee, claiming that these provisions affect the principle of proportionality uh, in terms of uh, equality, the right of free, uh, free movement, and family life. This case is still with the Constitutional Court of Albania. The Secondary Legislation Acts approved during this period uh, includes an act approved on the 17th November 2020 by the Minister of Health and Social Protection. The minister uh, ordered uh, that rallies of more than 10 persons were to be suspended and that included conferences, rallies, uh, party meetings, celebrations, marriages, until a second order to be issued by the minister. Uh, this act was challenged in the constitutional court by a political party claiming that it affected the freedom of expression and the right to rally. Well, the court did not find the did found that this act did not meet the criterion of proportionality. The court uh, argued that these such acts lose their temporary character nature, and that unless an explanation is given, such acts lead to an entire uh, prohibition of this right. not failing to set a deadline created also a problem because on one hand this act did not require the relevant authorities to make a periodical assessment of the restriction measures set by this order and on the other hand it did not meet the standard of proportionality i decided to share this case with you honorable participants by taken into consideration not only the special nature of this case, but also uh, trying to explain that the restrictions set by this normative act corresponded with the beginning of the, an electoral uh, campaign. Well, considering the di diversity of cases and the specific factors uh, that have had an impact in the decisions uh, taken so far will be like a guide, let's say, or a roadmap on how to treat restriction of human rights and freedoms in similar uh, emergencies in the future. Well, this forum brings together representatives of the constitutional courts, uh, institutions of justice at the regional level, uh, European human rights courts and legal experts, as well as members of non-governmental organizations. And this forum will serve and, and help us share our experience, nuances of domestic legislation and the standards, how they are interpreted and how rights are interpreted uh, compared to proportionality of legislative interventions. Thank you. I wish uh, good success to the conference. Mm -hmm.